Okay. Um, how do you calculate the ionization energy in kilojoules per mole of the helium plus ion? And it gives us that an H-like ion uh, follows um, an hydrogen-like uh, energy level structure. where this here is our um, atomic number. Um, <clears throat> so for helium, this would just be two. So um, for helium plus, our energy levels are given by this equation. Um, okay, so <clears throat> ionization in a simplistic picture, if this is the nucleus and this is our electron orbiting, ionization is just the energy difference in taking the electron uh, to infinity. So in removing the electron from the atom, or I put another way, or in an, equation, in an equation form, ionization energy is just the energy at infinity minus our end state energy. Um, <clears throat> we set this energy to zero, um, which makes sense, because uh, if you look, these energies are all negative. And so then it's just minus the energy of the state. So, quite simple, the ionization energy is just the negative energy of the state. And so, for putting in the hydrogen equation, it just comes out to be positive, these values. Um, <clears throat> now, uh, applying it, right, so helium plus, is a one just has a single 1s electron, so n would be 1. So the ionization energy um, for our 1s state would just be 2.18 times 10 to the minus 18 joules times 4 all over 1 squared, which comes out to be um, 8. Point 72 times 10 to the minus 18 joules. And that's it. Um, so looking through the solution here. Uh, actually isn't right. Um, and so we can calculate the ionization energy as, oh, okay, no, okay, it's fine. So it's not just, um, it's not when it reaches a higher state, it has to be actually taken to infinity. Um, So uh, as n goes to infinity, basically this goes to zero. And so the first term goes to zero, and so we just get this. this okay, that's good. Uh, and okay, they add some stuff. So just the first bit is not quite correct, but they did it properly. Um, but I'm just gonna say it's Complete removal of electron, um, not just excitation.